Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode and like you see from the title, today we're gonna be taking a look at the WildTac Black Scout Survival version three tactical light. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways and to enter, you must be a subscriber and share this video using the YouTube tools in the watch page below. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. Now to go ahead and get this out there, what can I say about the version 3 that hasn't been said and praised about in the version 2 and most notably in the version 1? Now there are quite a few design changes that should be mentioned and talked about. And given the fact that it's a new variant on the flashlight, we definitely want to make sure that the quality control and the build quality is still there. But with that said, with the past episodes of these particular flashlights that you guys have seen, WildTac in general and the Black Scout Survival Edition flashlights have just been brutal hardcore flashlights, especially for the freaking money. For the fact that they're sporting about $39, they do a very, very, very good job at just being outstanding hard use performers. And I've said in a few episodes is the reason why we take these flashlights since they're being sported to tactical channels, gun channels, EDC channels, survival channels, why should I expect my flashlight to be able to handle all of this abuse? And, and the number one answer to that question for me nowadays is what is the one device most people have on them 24 seven that they are now making waterproof and highly drop resistant? That is your cell phone. And they are making these cell phones super freaking tough and these are just daily commuting kind of just electric devices so in my perspective is when we have something that is being marketed to survival channels why can't we basically expect it and want it to basically piss excellence now one thing i really appreciated about the version 3 design overall is the fact that they actually simplified the technical parameters of this bad boy and simplified everything it's low medium high and strobe there's really nothing else to it. Like I said, it's a tactical light all the way. You can see it's been beat up pretty, pretty badly, but it still survived. It is still rocking and kicking some serious booty. Some of the most notable features that will be a lot of people will notice there is no button on this front bezel at all. It doesn't exist anymore. They removed it over here since it's more of a tactical light. When you have it in the kind of pistol grip for um, configuration, you have your automatic power mode and then you can select between different modes and hold and you'll pick up your strobe. Now, the power level, they actually dropped it down by 100 lumens, and that is actually okay to me. 1,050 lumens is perfectly fine, given the fact that with the efficiency of the LED, we're rocking almost three hours on its highest output. Now, you'll, something you'll notice right away is the flashlight is very noticeably shorter than the version two and the version one, and a lot of people do like that. It, does, it helps it sit in the pocket pretty easily, and I would say, the last upgrade that I really like is the fact that they actually put the stainless steel strike bezel on there. Now, since this is me playing the what if game, and also the fact it's 2018, why can't, I would say a version four idea, I think would be pretty cool, is I like the red lens. I, I like the red lens a lot, but I don't like the fact that I gotta take it off, put it on, and put the strike bezel back on, because I'd rather keep the strike bezel on for self-defense purposes. If I find myself, I'm not gonna carry tactical light, I want it to be tactically minded. Let's say I'm in a situation where you're outdoors and you want to maintain your night vision, yada, yada, yada. So it, 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 it's kind of inconvenient. This is me just being a negative Nancy and kind of just being picky. But why can't, instead of having a red lens cover, have an LED that can emit the same amount of power, but possibly have a multi-color LED emitter that will allow at least like 200, 300 lumens of red pure LED light that could be accessed through some form of switching the modes. And I think that would probably make this flashlight, in my personal opinion, for tactical usage, perfect. Now, overall, while you're outside using this thing at night, you're not gonna notice any differences from the version one or version two as far as its overall output on high. It runs really, really, really bright. It pumps out a pretty good throw considering that it is a single XPL V6 LED, which came out a few years ago, but considering it's a budget brand, it is what it is. Said we really wanted to do some different types of testing, testing in different environments and ways we've never done it before so we took it through some various accounts and just kind of brutalized it and it was something we noticed just like the other wild tax this thing is a champion for whatever they're doing with these flashlights over a lot of other brands i would say except for possibly olight they are some of the toughest flashlights on the market and they are impressive 
impressive. Um, just, just the amount of just sheer neglect that we put these things through. And the whole point of the reason why we do this quality control build testing is we're trying to put months and months and months and years and years and years of hard use simulated in a very, very, very short window. So you can't just like hit it with a sledgehammer. That's obviously gross overkill and just going to destroy it because steel aluminum <laughs> that doesn't work. But being dropping it multiple times, running it over the car, just letting it be exposed to the elements repeatedly and longer and over 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 again puts it in a situation that we can actually test this thing's durability over a simulated course of a long period of time in a very short window. Particular testing only lasted about three days, but we noticed that, I mean, obviously, even though it looks beat up, still works really really well now something we've noticed to keep the if you want the head of the flashlight to not actually bend the structural integrity of having a steel strike bezel actually does a really good job at helping keep the wall integrity of the head intact while it's being run over with a car being dropped on concrete which is a much harder surface than the metallic properties of aluminum but at risk of rambling for seven freaking hours i really, I really like this flashlight i mean it's a good flashlight they made it shorter they made sure that it basically functions in every way, shape, or form. And the only kind of nitpick of any kind that I'll actually give it is instead of having a red lens cover, just make a mode where we could have an actual true blue red LED built inside for low light vision and be able to maintain the strike bezel if we so choose. I know some people don't mind switching it out, but I mean, if it's a tactical light, I'd like the most advantages in the simplest form factor possible. The winner just is Amazon gift card giveaway is Blake Fox. Congratulations, Blake Fox, you were the winner. So definitely contact us in the back end of our channel so we can get your contact details. So in conclusion for the version three, if you don't already have the version two or the version one and you're kind of been on the fence about getting in on it is if you're looking for a tactical light, I would definitely say for 39 bucks, go for it, man. This is a freaking awesome flashlight. I have really nothing bad to say about it in any way, shape or form. Like I said, if I was just gonna nitpick, red LED built inside. I'd, I'd dig it all the way. I'd be totally into that. I mean, not one of those stupid ones that's like off to the side of the reflector either. Like one that is a multicolor changing emitter that's directly in the center, just like this one is. But that's just about it for now. And if you enjoyed the full test and abusive footage of the Black Scout Survival version three, give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that's just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.